a boy, uh, Mark 12 years old here, acted out a <clears throat> assault scene from Grand Theft Auto by assaulting six-year-old so gosh. Uh, the boy had watched the 18-rated video game before recreating the scene on his sister while another younger sibling was in the... Oh, boy. Um, <laughs> oh, God, this is going to be bad. Uh, a boy acted out a scene from Grand Theft Auto by <clears throat> his little sister. Uh, a court has heard the boy, 12, attacked his six-year-old victim in the living room and bedroom of their family home while adults were in another room or asleep, it was said. He <clears throat> his younger sister on numerous occasions, including Christmas Day. Ouch. One incident began after the boy watched footage of a of an act in the 18 rated game uh, Grand Theft Auto video game uh, with his victim Swindon uh, Crown Court was told. Uh, he then decided to recreate it with her while another younger sibling was still in the room. Ooh. His mom held his hand and looked close to tears as graphic details of the charges, three of <clears throat> and one of inciting the girl to engage in activity, were read out at Swindon Youth Court. The youth, who cannot be named for legal reasons, was given a 12-month referral order. If he completes the order in the out-of-town therapeutic facility where he currently lives, the four charges to which he pleaded guilty will be removed from his criminal record. The Swindon Wilshire boy, now 13, sat impassively for most of the hearing. Uh, but he smiled and chuckled when the judge talked to him about football. He hopes to play the sport professionally one day. The judge also asked uh, what, okay, excuse me. The judge also asked what he would do if he had the opportunity to commit the crimes again. The teen replied, I would stop myself. I have learned that it's wrong. Prosecutor Russell Pine said the victim confined in, confided in a school friend about what her brother made her do, which he called special bundles and snuggles. Oh boy. Her friend told a teacher who said that the girl had seemed withdrawn and quiet up until then, but became a lot happier after telling her about it. Hmm. Uh, when interviewed by police, he initially denied the offenses, but later admitted his guilt. Uh, Mr. Pine added he had been watching acts in blank and wanted to see what it was like for himself. Uh, was he watching this or was it because it's so far it's just said just the game. Maybe the teacher is referring to a scene of this in the game. I don't know. Uh, Gordon Hudson defending said. Uh, this is a one-off opportunity to help this uh, this uh, to help sort this young man out, give the youth offending team the chance to work with him and ensure that this never happens again. Uh, he's been opening up to staff and working well with them. There is no contact between him and his siblings, though they've expressed wishes to see him. Oh, his mother said, "We just want to make things right and do what's best for the safety of the children. He's doing really well, and I want to make sure we can all be a family again at some point." Uh, continuing the quote, my daughter used to be very sad about it all because she worried it was her fault, but she came, uh, came on leaps and bounds. She's a very strong girl and there's not an ounce of sadness in her now. I'm proud of her. He was added to the blank offenders register for two and a half years. Wow. Um, that's, that's pretty rough for that little girl, man. Uh, um, I know the first thing, how come a kid was playing the game? Well, it didn't say that he was necessarily playing the game, just that he had seen it in the game. So I don't know, maybe he was playing the game, maybe he was watching somebody older playing the game, even then he probably shouldn't have been exposed to it, that's very obvious. Um, yeah, and he was 12 when this happened, so uh, depending on who you ask, I guess, you could say that maybe he didn't necessarily know better. Or I, I don't know. I mean, we don't know the 12-year-old kid, so who knows? Uh, the little girl, though, she's much younger. She was, I think she was six, right? Yeah, six. So obviously she didn't know any better, and she only knows that, you know, something crazy happened. That's all she knows. Uh, so I hope that, I mean, based on what the mother, sa mother says, it looks like she's doing better. I hope she s sincerely is. I mean, that's, yeah, you don't want to have to you know, deal with that stuff growing up, but yeah, you're just hoping she gets, uh, gets better out of that, man. 
pretty insane. What do you all think about it? Um, I know there's going to be somebody out there, maybe not one of y'all, but maybe some sort of politician or something like that that's going to say, well, this video game is violent and it shouldn't be violent. And you know what? Screw you, dude. Don't say that about this game. We're all very aware at this point that Grand Theft Auto, any of the games, are not for kids. So, I mean, you can really only blame the person who gave the kid access. That's it. I mean, it's it's this to me. This sits firmly with the parents, and I know sometimes they were in another room or um, they were asleep. But you know, I mean, there's there's really no way that you know anybody else could have really seen this coming except maybe the parents. Let me know what y'all think down in the comments. Thanks for checking out the video, guys. I'll see y'all next time.